This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in garage getting ready for a Yalo test with this Kia Soul EV, 27 kilowatt hour. It got the battery upgrade on warranty, so I measured 24 kilowatt hour net capacity. And today we're gonna see how fast can we get to Yalo. We have tried with some other cars, old cars. They made it there in, well, let me see, how was it again? Um, I, Classic Ioni did it in three and a half hours. i3 and e-golf they did it in four hours roughly. So how about this car with the upgrade battery? I'm thinking maybe three hours and 40 minutes. Just a little bit slower than Classic Ioni. We'll see. So yeah, I've been preparing now. We are just topping up. And I mean, it looks just like the other salt we've seen, except for what is under the hood. Well, actually not under the hood, under the car literally. So yeah, you see that we have car scanner here. We are topping back up to 100%. It should take only, well, it says in four minutes. So you see, the plan now is to drive, I don't know, probably quite far before we have to take the first charging stop. I measure that we have maybe around 120 kilometers of range. Well, it says actually 126 kilometers range here. So we'll see if we can make it to, I'm not sure where, where did I navigate to here. Uh, yeah, that's that's ghoul speak. <laughs> so you see 125 kilometers away. Okay, we'll see if we can make it there. But we'll start in not too long. We just have to measure uh, everything. Yeah, time it. So in three minutes, it will finish charging. And then we do the challenge or, I mean, the test. Well, off we go. We started 55 minutes past midnight. And because this soul charges relatively fast, it actually pays off to hammer it. Yeah, it depends which car you're driving, you know, like <laughs> when we drove Leaf, we couldn't drive, I mean, we couldn't, we shouldn't hammer too hard, but Leaf also has some other problems, like uh, uh, it, it lacks thermal management, but Soul has active cooling, at least air-cooled battery, so we will not replicate at all, especially now during winter, so you're going to see how that goes, but okay, so the little stretch we have here over here, we want to go schnell, and then we have to go slow anyway. We are getting close to Rua, and uh, yeah, right now the consumption is a bit high, 230 watt hour per kilometer, but as expected, because we have gained lots of elevation, we are kind of in the high land right now. But uh, yeah, you see that we have halogen lights. <laughs> so, well, oh yeah, the, the camera adjusts for it, the uh, white balance, but they are a bit yellowish. But for for a Korean car, this is this is actually okay uh, headlights, fairly good strength and, and fairly good sp uh, spread also. It seems like many cars, including Tesla, you know the original lights, like the old school lights, they were good. But then once they move over to LED, they introduced some weak LED until they eventually got better. Well, yeah. So we're already down to seventy five percent. It's still a small battery in 2024 uh, terms but uh, yeah and then what else is it uh, yeah by the way we started with 9 to 11 degrees celsius in the battery it's not too cold but also not too hot so it, it will slowly heat up as we go now so uh, all right let's just enjoy the night run then We are now at Sokna, first charging stop. Oh, we have 17 degrees Celsius. Will the car rapid gate? Let me see, I hope we get okay speed. Wait, oh, oh wait, are we only getting 26 kilowatt? Oh shit, that's not good. Hmm, or is this charger kaput? I'm actually not sure what's going on now, but we don't want to lose too much time here. But the only problem is that I cannot make it to the next charger. It's too far away. Cool speak. Well, unless we have to do a little ninja trick here. Um, is there something wrong with this charger? Or is the car Colgate? Okay, we need to move over to the next charger over there maybe and try again. Actually, I didn't have to move the car. I just stopped. I prepared this side. 
and then stretch the cable over and then they quickly swap the cables let's see if we get more than 20 oh we do okay we have to deduct maybe a minute ah because uh, that charger is kaput is the unreliable shit man abb this abb at least is working better so, oh but wow we get actually full speed even at 17 degrees <laughs> okay we are back in the game we've been charged for 12 minutes and we're already at 66 percent and look at the speed 47 kilowatts still at 67 percent it goes flat all the way to around 75 almost 80 percent before it throttles <laughs> really amazing speed but okay how do you explain to you guys that over here at bruma there is a a UFC charger or Eon charger with 200 amp plug and this car can take 175 amps you see we're taking 125 only now because all over the place we have only these 125 amp char uh, plugs but I have calculated that if we stop at Bruma it, it is a bit weird it's we should just stop here and then stop at Gul and that would be the last charging stop so we suddenly have to uh, stop one more time and that costs usually around two three minutes of detour plug in unplug you know stuff like that and yeah it will be faster to charge over there but uh, the gain is usually around two to three minutes only so that's why i decided that we will not go to the 200 amp charger we'll just go straight to ghoul and then yeah to yellow so um yeah soon enough it will throttle I'm actually not uh, running heater right now. I will wait until it slightly throttles because then I can pull extra uh, power for heating. But if I run the heater now, then it will be charging slightly slower. So it's all about tweaking those extra seconds, man, for this challenge or this test. There, it started throttling at 76%. That is crazy. Now we can finally fire up the heater, auto, and it should pull extra power we can see it here that um, we have 100 well, okay we are taking 42 40 yeah around 42 kilowatt let's check the charger how much we're getting wait huh are we not pulling extra power uh i'm not sure now okay whatever we're gonna go a few more minutes to 83 percent and then we go for gold yeah at 83 percent it dropped now now it will stay 14 kilowatt all the way to 94 percent so now it's time to leave right off we go again so uh you see the battery is at 28 to 33 degrees celsius still not too hot so that's fine i don't think the cooling even started now it's when this hits around 40 degrees that uh, we will oh shit. uh what did i enter now my bad <laughs> well back, 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 back. there there okay now let's re re redo that one. All right, off we go again. And um, you see here we have 28 to 33 degrees Celsius in the battery. So it's not that hot yet. So no rapid gate or anything yet. Uh, I think the cooling hasn't even started yet. Once we hit around 40 degrees here in the max, then yeah, we need to cool the battery. So, but then. Uh, that would be the last charging session, right? For this, uh, at least for the the test. And then we have to go back home. But um, yeah, so far so good. It's really impressive that this car is nine years old. It has 107,000 kilometers on the odometer. But because we were lucky and, and got the, a battery replacement on warranty, then it's like the car has been rejuvenated. Oh yeah, I can play music here on the USB stick. And so we have speakers that are illuminated. And I've set it to that it will dance with the music. <laughs> you can of course switch this off also. Uh, you can switch it over to the mood mode. Or just switch off the light, but yeah. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> we can disco in here, man. We are now at Gaul and uh, yeah, since yes him, we have averaged 195 watt hour per kilometer. That is quite good. So uh, yeah, fortunately this car has heat pump. You see it's minus two degrees Celsius outside and uh, we are 
consuming 1.1 kilowatt for uh, heating so uh, yeah this is it we're gonna stop here we are down to well nine kilometers of range or 8.5 percent so <laughs> it was a good call for me to charge to 84 percent on the previous stop yeah i could have gone slightly lower but now nah, actually the state of charge here drops really fast towards the end so you don't want to go too deep with the korean cars so yeah we'll stop over here at shell i mean yeah shell and uh, the good old uh, supercharger and uh, what used to be yuffs before that was a long time ago uh we are now uh by the road uh, got pulled over by the police no i'm just kidding <laughs> the, the blue blinking light here is so strong <laughs> well okay anyway look 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 um we are getting more than 125 amp i forgot you know these delta chargers why can you see it but the delta chargers they actually deliver 135 amp max so that means that um if we go for delta charger we will charge slightly faster yeah look at that Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah okay good but now let me see i need to fire up the car but turn off h back okay Okay, let me show you that. Uh, this is a bit weird, by the way, with this. I, I don't know what's up with this. If I, I, I cannot move. You see here? It doesn't work. Uh, but after digging, that suddenly after 10 seconds, it's like, oh, 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 we unlocked. Yeah. So uh, now I can go out and then I go in here and then hold. Yeah, yeah. So it's here. So let me, let me see. Uh, circle K yellow. Where is that? There, 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 there it is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So let's see. I've done the math. And you see, that's only 52... What, what is the distance there? Okay, yeah, battery, whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's 53 kilometers away. But we actually have 580 meters of elevation or uphill. So I already calculated that we need to go for around... Well, need, we need to spend roughly 60% of the battery. So... For safety, I want to charge at 75%, but it should go blistering fast anyway to 75%. So now I have a little bit of stop here, 15 minutes. I'll go to the gas station then. We have finally the fire up the lights here. You know, previously it was so dark here, almost a little bit scary. But the lights were off, but uh, yeah, for some reason the lights here are not up and running. <laughs> but okay, uh, not too far walk over to... Uh, shell it's just so dead and quiet over here it's like zombie apocalypse yeah there's shell at least it's open 24 7. we are at 56 percent and look here still 133 amp and 49 kilowatt so you know what i've decided to deduct one extra minute at sokna because we had delta charger sokna i just didn't use it if I was a slightly more skilled or more experienced soul driver, I would of course use Sokna. <laughs> yeah, so one extra minute there. But um, I don't know if you can hear it, but you see here, battery fan status four. So it doesn't show RPM, but uh, it is it is in different steps. I wonder if four is the highest. So right now it's cooling down the battery. Oops. But uh, HVAC is off because I don't want to steal any heating power there. But I wonder if, you know, eventually, maybe we get get a couple of hundred watts from the trunk. <laughs> yeah, but for now, uh, we don't care too much. Um, I can open up later on the return and we can see once it gets hotter. But for now, we just wait here a little bit more and then we're actually good to go. Okay, any moment now we're going to leave, but I will go for 75%. We see a 50 kilowatt. Oh, <laughs> but okay, so... Uh, you see, we have 93 kilometers on GOM now, and we are only going 50 kilometers. I calculated that we need to spend around 55% of the battery, which means that we might arrive with around 15 to 20%. Well, I guess 15% since the state of charge scale is not linear. Yeah, 15% of the arrival, that is way more than I need. But just, just in case, because who knows, you know, it's going to be colder over there. And yeah, whatever. There. Okay, let's go. Right, uh, you see I charged with 77.5% before I managed to unplug. But um, yeah, I charged for 21 minutes and uh, we got 16.9 kilowatt hour from the charge at least. So that's uh, 48 uh, kilowatt average. Very impressive. And now you see here, 
but it's getting warm and here fan status is seven i wonder how high it goes but uh yeah we should be getting some free heat from the trunk then <laughs> okay let's go for it let me see oh but we just passed the three hour mark now yeah 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 and we still need to drive around 45 minutes maybe to yellow hmm okay can we beat i3 and egov i think we can because this is a toy can <laughs> We are here at Yelo and the time 